Heinemann Heiner. Chapter 7 in Polynomials, the mixed exercise, 7k at the end. There's a tangent to a curve. Where does this tangent cut the curve again? Right, well the first step is going to be get the equation for the intersections. So I'll give them names. That's the equation of the curve. That's the equation of the tangent. So I'm looking for intersections. Intersections of close includes tangents and clean cuts. So I'm going to substitute. I'm going to substitute 1 in 2. So equation 2 will be written down, only instead of y I'll be putting this. So instead of y I'll be putting x cubed minus 7x plus 6, then plus the 4x equals 8. Then gathering it all to one side, x cubed minus 3x minus 2 equals 0 for the equation to be solved. Now, for this one I could go to synthetic division because I know one of the roots to this equation. So I could put, I know the fact factor x plus 1 and I could do the synthetic division, which I'll do in a minute. But since it's a tangent, I actually know two of the roots of this equation because a tangent has to be a double root. So in fact, I know a double factor. I know that at x equals negative 1, I've got a double root, so that x plus 1 must be a double factor. And that only leaves 1 to find. So I should be able to equate the two parts. x times x times x makes x cubed. 1 times 1 times negative 2 makes negative 2. I should give a reason at the side. I could say since x equals negative 1 is a double root, that means x plus 1 is a double or repeated factor. And then simply it says that means that x equals negative 1 or x equals 2. But since x equals negative 1 gives the tangent, that means that x equals 2 gives the intersection. And once I know that x equals 2 gives the intersection, then I can substitute it back into one of those two being easier, which means that y plus 4 times 2 equals 8 from or using 2, which means y equals 0. So that means that the intersection is at the point 2, 0. And that's all I would need to do there for this particular one. So I've got these two answers. There we go. However, since this chapter was meant to be on polynomials and using the synthetic division, I'll just do this little bit again using the synthetic division method instead. Although this is much faster, just with this equating. So back to this step and using just synthetic division this time, using the fact that if it's a tangent, then I already know one of the intersections. This is just pretending only one of them. Of course I know two. But the principle would be this, so you would say, there's a tangent, which means x equals negative 1 is a root. Or you could jump in straight in and say, which means x plus 1 is a factor. And then use your synthetic division here. So what have I got? I've got 1, but no x squared. Negative 3 for the x, negative 2. And I know that negative 1 works. So it should go through and give me a zero remainder. So that's 1, negative 1, negative 1 positive 1, negative 2, positive 2, and indeed it does give 0. So I can just go back to this and say, well, I had my x plus 1, and from this division, the quotient was x squared minus x minus 2, and then it's just up to me to factorise this little quadratic myself. So it must be x times x, it must be 1 times 2, and the negative must go to the bigger. So indeed, I've just got exactly the same thing as I had before. I knew it was a double factor, and I could have figured out that negative 2 immediately by inspection. And then from that you would just say x equals negative 1 or x equals 2, etc. Knowing that that's the tangent, so that must be the clean cut. And then finding the other part as before.